GL's light speed thousand comes with all the necessary applications for overall capturing, monitoring, protocol emulation, and analysis for troubleshooting Sonnet SDH links. Most importantly, the Lightspeed 1000 comes with a price tag that compares very favorably with similar test instruments at three times the price. This test platform is available in two variants. As a PCI Express card. And as a portable USB unit. With the PCI Express card, you could stack multiple cards per system for super high capacity test and monitoring system. This offers four optical interfaces for testing at either SDH STM1 and STM4 rates, or at Sonnet OC3 and OC12 rates. The two out of the quad optical interfaces are meant for unchannelized or the unframed data. The remaining two interfaces are meant for channelized data. This make this tester very unique and useful for testing both channelized and unchannelized Sonnet or SDH links. There are alarm LEDs to indicate the problems in physical links, an optional onboard memory of 2 GB DDR2 type, a 6-pin PCI Express power connector, a USB 2.0 control interface with external 12 volts DC power supply to enable its usability as a portable unit. GL's Lightspeed 1000 supports a LC type SFP connector. The SFPs can be single mode or multi mode fiber SFP. So, what functions can this test instrument perform? It is capable of wire speed processing of packets, ATM frames, UMTS frames, and transparent payloads or traffic over Sonnet SDH optical interfaces. You can perform bit error rate testing, protocol analysis, and protocol emulation of unchannelized and unframed data over ATM. UMTS, and PPP protocol stream. Provides comprehensive transmit or receive testing capabilities with flexible hardware level filters. It has the ability to capture simultaneously and synchronously on all optical ports, and then play back the same data to reproduce the real-time environment. This permits detailed offline analysis that is not possible otherwise. Precisely emulates packet delays that occur over Sonnet SDH carrying ATM or POS traffic. The delay is adjustable from 1 millisecond to maximum of 500 millisecond. Channelized testing permits direct DS0 level access to hundreds of T1s and E1s constituting the OC3 and STM1. The widely used conventional method to access and analyze channelized lines within OC3 STM1 can require specific and costly MUX to MUX hardware. However, with the direct access architecture in Lightspeed 1000, you can eliminate the need for such costly hardware and hundreds of cables and connectors. This simplifies the whole testing infrastructure, monitoring, and analysis process. When the Lightspeed 1000 is configured in SDH framing mode, it is capable of supporting channelization into 63 independent E1 channels on each port, totaling to 126 E1s. When configured for Sonnet framing mode, the Lightspeed 1000 is capable of supporting channelization into 84 independent T1 channels on each port, totaling to 168 T1s. This is a typical lab setup. To show the multiplex and demultiplex capability within Lightspeed 1000, we are using a SDH multiplexer on one end to provide us a STM1 link. This is connected to one of the channelized port on Lightspeed 1000, that is port 3. The E1 input to this multiplexer may be live 63 E1 links or simulated E1 links. With this setup, any combination of DS0 channel, fractional T1 or E1, and hyper channels can be accessed for performance monitoring. This is our lab setup. In this setup, we are simulating the 16 live E1 links using GL's Octal E1 cards. The E1 links given as input to the SDH multiplexer. This SDH multiplexer is used to provide a multiplex channelized STM1 link to GL's Lightspeed 1000. Now we are demonstrating live how an E1 signal over STM1 signal can be tested using Lightspeed 1000 channelized SDH analyzer. In this part of the video, 
we are showing both receiving and transmission capability of Lightspeed 1000. To do this, we are transmitting the pre-recorded protocol streams using GL's Octal E1 analyzer through SDH multiplexer on the other end, and receive these streams using standard protocol analysis applications within Lightspeed 1000. Before we proceed, we have to configure the STM1 port for the VC mapping, numbering scheme, and number of T1 or E1 channels to be processed. As you can see, the Lightspeed 1000 supports VC3, VC4 for both T1 and E1S. Here we are selecting E1 VC4 mapping. It also supports three T1 E1 numbering schemes, Motorola, Lucent, and Hawaii I. Enabling TX option will also allow for the multiplexing and transmission capability on the selected STM1 port. Once these configurations are done, start the STM1 server. You can observe that the STM1 frames are received by the Lightspeed 1000 in the RX statistics info. Let's now open the STM1 E1 analyzer. As we can see, we have ATCHES OT all 63 E1S including the framing modes and alarms. It has various protocol analysis and emulation capabilities listed under special applications. Let's try to run ISDN protocol analysis. Here we can select the required E1 channels for capturing. Note the link configuration is set for N number of 64 kbps hyper channel capacity. Let's start the live capturing on the selected E1s. We can verify that the channel is carrying ISDN messages. Build and open the CDR to view the captured ISDN calls. Similarly, we can start SS7 Analyzer, perform link configuration, and verify the captured call detail records. You can see that entire receiving and monitoring capability within Lightspeed 1000 can be performed with lot of ease and simplicity. Now we are demonstrating how the Lightspeed 1000 can perform multiplexing of data on multiple E1S into a single STM1 link. We are sending specific BER patterns on card 1, to 5 synchronously using automated record and playback application. The data on these channels are multiplexed by Lightspeed 1000 and sent to SDH multiplexer over STM1 link. This in turn demultiplexes the data into individual E1 channels and forwards to GL's Octal E1 boards. We can open the bit error rate applications on each E1 channel, and verify the data. A PATSYNC can be observed in the status which signifies that the data received is valid.